guys welcome to my channel thank you for tuning back into my channel and as you can see by the title um, you can tell what I'm gonna be talking about in this video I'm gonna keep this video fairly short and I'm not gonna say a lot about this election night November 8th was last night yesterday I'm recording this the next day on November 9th um, I didn't want to record my at reaction yesterday because I felt as if I needed to kind of just sleep on my thoughts and kind of get my thoughts together before I come on here and try to make a video and express how I feel about the whole situation. If you don't know by now, which you, you most likely probably do, but the winner for the 2016 election, presidential election, was Donald Trump. I'm not going to get on here and make a video bashing Donald Trump. I just I just wanted to kind of just come on here and kind of share some perspective, share my perspective about everything. Before I get into this, I'm going to say this. Everybody is entitled to their own opinion. Everybody is entitled to vote for who they want to vote for, for whatever reason they want to. They have that right to. Just like I have that right, the person that's behind this, you know, that's watching this video, you have that same right. Whether we vote for the same person or we don't, we have that right. Me personally, I... I did not expect Donald Trump to win, to be completely honest. I thought that, if anything, it was going to be a close race, and I thought that Hillary was actually going to win, but Donald Trump actually won by a lot, and I'm, I'm really shocked and I'm surprised. On Twitter, you had a lot of people that were, were mad and angry, and you had a lot of people that were making rants and going off on people. You had a lot of people on Twitter and, and and just social media in general that were on there crying. And I I was neither here nor there. Last night when I found out the results, I was just, I was numb. Like, my I couldn't feel any emotions. I was just numb to the whole situation. Honestly, my belief is I, I did not want Donald to be in office. I personally feel as if he's not fit and he's not best to, you know, to fulfill the position of being president of the United States. That's just my opinion. Like I said earlier, you're allowed to feel and uh, you're allowed to feel and believe whatever you want to believe. But just because I feel that way, I'm not. I'm not gonna bash him. Don't get me wrong. I do not support Donald Trump. I never have, and I, I still don't. Um, there's a lot of things that he says and he does that I don't necessarily agree with, but that's neither here nor there. That's a whole other video for a different time, and I don't feel like getting into all that. Honestly, I feel as if, like, I'm not happy with the results, but at the at the same time, there's nothing I can really do. Because what's done is done. He's won. He's won. He did what he was supposed to do. He met the requirements, and he won. Whether I like it or not, whether you like it or not, he's in. he's going to be in office next year. And there's nothing we can do about it except for try to move on. And I will say this. Like I said, I don't support Donald Trump. I don't like a lot of the things that he's about. But I can only hope that whenever he does start his term, I can hope that he can just get himself together. And I can hope that it's not going to be a complete mess. Because people are trying to say, you never know. Once he gets into office, he may do some great things. Hey, who knows? It's up in the air. But... I guess you can call me naive, I guess, because I thought, I guess I just had more belief and more, more trust in my country that we would, that Hillary would make it into office. And it has nothing to do with her being a woman. It, it, it's just the, the different beliefs between the two, for me at least. The fact that she's a woman and if she would have made it into office, then hey, that would have been another, you know, history in the making. The only thing is, like I said, he has a lot of things that he ha he has and he does a lot of things that I don't agree with. I just feel as, as a nation, America is so divided. Our people, we are so divided as, as a nation. And I feel as if Donald Trump will do nothing but divide us even more as a nation. That's what he makes it seem like. And I can only hope that regardless of what Donald Trump does, I hope we as a people do not continue to divide even more and even more and just, you know, make things worse. I just hope that we can at least come together as people. Whether we whether we voted for Hillary, whether we voted for Donald, whether we didn't vote at all. I just hope that we as people we can come together. Regardless of what we look like and, you know, who we are, I hope that we can just come together 
as a nation and become stronger. At this point in time, we need it more than anything. And honestly, I, I won't lie. I am scared of Donald Trump being in office. I'm scared of him being president of this entire nation, just knowing that he has that much control and he's basically able to do whatever he wants. Just based on his past, I, I, I'm, I'm not exactly safe with it. And don't get me wrong, Hillary, she has her dirt too, but if I had to pick the two, I, I would prefer her to be in office, but I'm not going to get into that. But I, I mainly wanted to make this video to kind of share my perspective, and I just wanted to say, you know, I didn't want to get on here bashing Donald. I didn't want to get on here bashing people who support Donald. Like I said, that's your opinion. You're allowed to vote for and believe whoever you want to believe. But I... My main concern is just, I hope that this does not divide us even more because that's the last thing we need. If anything, we need to come together more and we need to be there for each other more. I, I don't know what the future holds, just like pretty much everybody else in America and even around the world. Everybody around the world has been following this debate, these debates and the election. I don't know what to hold in the future. Um, I can only hope and pray for the best. That's the best I can do. You know, I've looked at some some of my favorite YouTubers here on YouTube and um, you know, my mom, she gave me some words of encouragement to help me kind of get through it. And basically my mom and um, Chad and Gabrielle from Gay Babe TV, they basically said the same thing that what's done is done and the best you can do is just Leave it in God's hands. That's the only thing that I can do. And that's that's what I plan to do. I, I truly hope and pray that things do not spiral out of control. And I hope that he can keep to his word and do some things right. Keep his word and truly make America great again. Not just for him or not just for specific people, but for everybody in America. That's what I'm hoping. So even though I'm kind of... I feel a certain way about him being in office. It is what it is, and I don't really have anything else to say. I could make this video much longer than it already is, but I, I don't want to. I don't want to just talk your head off. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. Um, I'm probably going to post another video this week. Um, I had a video planned for today, but I decided to do this video instead. So yeah. And leave a comment down in the comment section below and let me know what you think about everything. Whether you live in the U.S. or not, let me know what you think about the whole situation. And see you in the next video. Don't go chasing waterfalls. No, no, no. Keep the faith you have it all slow. to